all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i just got a quick uh screen tip to show you guys just to show you how to make your screen look as best as possible for um you know sometimes some of the games like you get certain like wash washed out like screen colors and stuff like that um this right here is going to show you how to sharpen your, your display make it look way better than how it's supposed to be because sometimes yeah with off rip the, it doesn't look that great right so with this feature in the md app i'm going to show you guys how to optimize it your screen and make sure it looks as good as possible for you to your liking right so first i just closed the app but it's the md app you just got to find it once you open it then you go in here right when you open it first open it you're going to be in the ohm so it's got to go right here to the settings button then you go to display then you go down right when you get here i turned it off because i just want to show you guys you got to turn it on so you got to turn on custom color right when you get to that you just turn it on everything should be red so right here so once you start doing this you could adjust it you could turn get um get the game on while you're adjusting the 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 U brightness and everything and you can see it change in real time while you're doing it all right so this um setting right here is for every game you could also do it for individual game so if you want one game to be darker on some games if you're playing like a dark setting type of game and you want to be dark or the color to be washed off for that specific game then you could do that i'm going to show you that in a minute so here you got uh contrast uh saturation u brightness and color temperature so you just got to adjust it to your liking and then you just run the game and see how you like it right so just, if you go down a little bit you're going to see uh color deficiency correction you can leave that off an AMD privacy view, you can leave that off as well. I mean, oh, I'm not, I don't even forgot to install, so you don't really need that, right? All right, so yeah, so that's this is where you mess with the color and make your screen look as good as possible to your liking. All right, so if you want to do it for individual games and you want to make a specific game look different from other games, same app, go to the MD app, then just go to games then all your games should pop up right here. So when you click on, let's say I'm doing Spider-Man, right? You go to Spider-Man, then you go to go to the right side, you see custom colors, right? You hit that, you got also got some other um, settings in here that you could change around. You got uh, scaling mode, AMD free sync, um, display color enhancement. So you could make it vivid, use global settings, disable, dynamic right now it's on global settings so that's what the the first one i showed you that's mean that's what it means by global so meaning that settings is for everything all around every game on the whole system so if you want to make the display color enhancement more vivid then you can just put it in vivid here dynamic contrast is up to you you want to do it and they got color deficiency correction it's on global again so Spider-Man, you may you might want your suit to pop, the colors to pop, then you can make it vivid. You could do that specifically just for that game, right? Alright, so basically the same thing. You got your U brightness, contrast, saturation. You can mess with that while the game is running and you can see it change real time. And every time you boot up the game, it will boot up in this settings for this screen um display that you did for it, right? All right, so sometimes some of the games, they're not in here, like it's not showing up. You could also add the game if it's not showing up. You just gotta go to the same section, just go to gaming, then you hit those three dots right here, and you go to add. When you go to add, you could search for the games that you wanna add in here. Oh, I took it by accident. So, I don't have much games, cause my SD's kinda full already, and I'm not trying to put no SD cards in here so it could melt down in the system so that's why I didn't put SD cards in here but I also got some games from the Xbox app but once you do the global settings though for the AMD app it's, it's gonna affect every game on the system so maybe for that specific game you can't adjust it specifically for that game but just do the global settings for, for the whole system and you will get the best screen possible to your liking 
so yeah, so that's how you add it. You could also hide game stats and then you could so scan for games. So let's try scan for games and see what happens. Let me close this. Come right here, scan for game. And I guess it's gonna search the whole system. I'm looking for, looking for the games. All right, so yeah, it's only picking up three of my games, which is Warfare, Marvel, and Renman. And those are all Steam games. So yeah, so that's basically it, guys. The AMD app is a very powerful tool on the Asus Rook. I like, you do a lot of stuff in here. I have a, this is not my first video on it. You could change a lot of stuff. You could do GPU scaling, virtual super resolution, uh, scaling mode, a lot of stuff. AMD FreeSync, um, very bright, very bright. I did a video on that as well. So yeah, guys. So uh, this app right here is like your best friend. If you want to get the best screen possible to your liking as i keep saying because everyone is not the same no one like the same settings and stuff like that so just tune into the to the app guy and play around with it and and stuff like that and yeah just tune it to you to your liking and remember to always say guys hit that like button if you like when i'm posting subscribe to the channel drop a comment down below let me know what you think and remember to always say guys health is world. Peace and love. I'm out.